The College of Cardinals, formerly styled Sacred College of Cardinals, is the body of all cardinals of the Catholic Church. Functions A function of the college is to advise the Pope about church matters when he summons them to an ordinary consistory, a term referring to the Roman Emperor's Crown Council. It also attends various protocolary functions, as during the canonization process. It also convenes on the death or resignation of a pope as a papal conclave to elect a successor, but is then restricted to eligible cardinals under the age limit. Yet all cardinals remain known as princes of the church, even over the eligible age. The college has no ruling power except during the said vacant period, and even then its powers are extremely limited by the terms of the current law, which is laid down in the Apostolic Constitution Universi Dominici Gregis and the fundamental law of Vatican City State. Historically, cardinals were the clergy serving parishes of the city of Rome under its bishop, the Pope. The college acquired particular importance following the crowning of Henry IV as King of Germany and Holy Roman Emperor at the age of six. After the unexpected death of Henry III in 1056, until then, the Holy See was often bitterly fought for among Rome's aristocratic families and external secular authorities had significant influence over who was to be appointed Pope, and the Holy Roman Emperor in particular had the special power to appoint him. This was significant as the aims and views of the Holy Roman Emperor and the Church did not always coincide. Churchmen involved in what has become known as the Gregorian Reform took advantage of the new king's lack of power and in 1059 reserved the election of the Pope to the clergy of the Church in Rome. This was a part of a larger power struggle, which became known as the Investiture Controversy, as the Church and the Emperor each attempted to gain more control over the appointment of bishops and in doing so wield more influence in the lands and governments they were appointed to. Reserving to the cardinals the election of the Pope represented a significant shift in the balance of power in the early medieval world. From the beginning of the 12th century, the College of Cardinals started to meet as such when the cardinal bishops, cardinal priests and cardinal deacons ceased acting as separate groups, officials, the Dean of the College of Cardinals and the Sub-Dean are the President and Vice-President of the College. Both are elected by and from the six Cardinal Bishops, but the election requires papal confirmation. Except for presiding and delegating administrative tasks, they have no authority over the Cardinals, acting as primus inter pairs. The Secretary of State, the Prefects of the Congregations of the Roman Curia, the Camelengo of the Holy Roman Church, the Vicar General of Rome, and the Patriarchs of Venice and Lisbon, are usually cardinals, with few, usually temporary, exceptions. The fundamental law of Vatican City State requires that appointees to the state's legislative body, the Pontifical Commission for Vatican City State, be cardinals. Origins. The word cardinal is derived from the Latin cardo, meaning hinge. The office of cardinal as it is known today slowly evolved during the first millennium from the clergy of Rome. The first time that the term cardinal appears in the Liber Pontificalis is in the biography of Pope Stephen III when in the Roman Synod of 769. It was decided that the Roman pontiff should be elected from among the deacons and cardinal priests. In 845 the Council of Mo required bishops to establish cardinal titles or parishes in their towns and outlining districts. At the same time, the popes began referring to the cardinal priests of Rome to serve as legates and delegates within Rome at ceremonies, synods, councils, etc., as well as abroad on diplomatic missions and councils. Those who were assigned to the latter roles were given the titles of Legatus Alatera and Mrs. Specialize. During the pontificate of Stephen V, the three classes of the college that are present today began to form. Stephen decreed that all cardinal bishops were bound to say Mass on rotation at the high altar at St. Peter's Basilica, one per Sunday. The first class to form was that of the cardinal deacons, direct theological descendants of the original seven ordained in Acts chapter 6. 
followed by the cardinal priests, and finally, the cardinal bishops. The college played an integral part in various reforms within the Church as well, as early as the pontificate of Pope Leo IX. In the 12th century, the Third Lateran Council declared that only cardinals could assume the papacy, a requirement that has since lapsed. In 1130, under Urban II, all the classes were permitted to take part in papal elections. Up to this point, only cardinal bishops had this role. By the end of the 14th century, the practice of solely Italian cardinals had ceased. Between the 14th century and 17th century, there was much struggle for the college between the cardinals of the day and the reigning popes. The most effective way for a pope to increase his power was to increase the number of cardinals, promoting those who had nominated him. Those cardinals in power saw these actions as an attempt to weaken their influence. In 1517, Pope Leo X added another 31 cardinals, bringing the total to 65 so that he could have a supportive majority among the cardinalate. Paul IV brought the total to 70. Pope Pius IV raised an additional six. By the papacy of Sixtus V the number was set at 70, divided among 14 cardinal deacons, 50 cardinal priests, and six cardinal bishops, choosing the pope. Under the terms of Pope Paul VI's motu proprio in grave ascent a meter tem, cardinals who reached the age of 80 before a conclave opened had no vote in papal elections. Pope John Paul II's Universi Dominici Gregis of the 22nd of February 1996 modified that slightly, so that cardinals who have reached the age of 80 before the day the see becomes vacant do not have a vote. Although the canonical qualifications required of candidates for episcopacy leave a broad field open to the cardinals, they have for over six centuries elected one of their own number to be Bishop of Rome. The last time they chose someone who was not a cardinal was at the 1378 election of Pope Urban VI. The conclave rules specify the procedures to be followed, should someone residing outside Vatican City or not yet a bishop be elected. Of the 117 cardinals under the age of 80 at the time of Pope Benedict XVI's resignation, 115 participated in the conclave of March 2013 that elected his successor. The two who did not participate were Julius Riedjama at Major and Keith O'Brien. As of 9 December 2015, there are a total of 216 cardinals, of whom 118 are under 80. The Holy See announced on 20 March 2015 that Pope Francis had accepted the resignation by Cardinal Keith O'Brien of the rights and privileges of a cardinal, although he will retain the title. As a result, only 117 cardinals are eligible to participate in a future papal election. Of those 117, 29 were appointed by Pope John Paul II, 57 by Pope Benedict XVI, and 31 by Pope Francis. Roger Mahoney will be the next cardinal to reach the age of 80 on the 27th of February 2016 and lose his right to participate in a conclave. Members of the College of Cardinals. The following is the list of all cardinals living as of the 9th of December 2015. Cardinals appear in order of precedence based on seniority by date of appointment. Paolo Evaristorons is the most senior member of the college by length of service and the last survivor from the 1973 consistory. Angelo Sodano has the highest precedence as a cardinal bishop and dean of the College of Cardinals. Roger Echegaray has second highest precedences. A fellow cardinal bishop and sub-dean of the College of Cardinals. The oldest living cardinal is Loris Francesco Capo Villa, born in 1915. Within the College of Cardinals, there are three categories, the highest-ranked cardinal bishops, then cardinal priests, and finally cardinal deacons. Within each category, cardinals are ranked by seniority of appointment to that category. Despite these titles, almost every cardinal is 
since the pontificate of Pope John XXIII, a bishop. Any one not a bishop when his appointment is announced has generally been consecrated bishop before his formal installation, although a few priests appointed cardinals when near or over 80 have obtained permission not to become bishops. Most of the cardinals are from the Latin Church, those who are from the Eastern Catholic Churches have their church indicated. Cardinals from Italy over time Cardinals versus Geographic distribution of Catholics Cardinals by nationality as of the 9th of December 2015 Size of the College of Cardinals as of the 9th of December 2015, the college had 216 members, 117 of whom were eligible to participate in a conclave. The group size has historically been limited by popes, ecumenical councils, and even the college itself. From 1099 to 1986, the total number of cardinals appointed was approximately 2,900, nearly half of whom were created after 1655.